of Transport, who uh, has uh, joined us from our Pretoria studios. Uh, De Pio Peters is the Minister of Transport. Uh, Minister, this year's activities uh, coincide with the passing of the Transport Laws and Related Matters Amendment Act by President Zuma. What are some of the issues that stand out for you in this? We are very happy as the Department of Transport and, and Sandra to get the approval of the laws because it means the implementation must start. I need to indicate that since the President has signed the law into, I mean the uh, bill into law, what has happened is that we passed the regulations. The regulations focus on the conditions of tolling, areas of exceptions or exemptions from tolling, and issues of e-tolling road signage, e-tolling specifications. With regard to exemptions, you would know that cabinet took a resolution to reduce the total amount that was supposed to have been paid. And now the total cap would be about 450 rand. Mm. But I just want to hasten to indicate that 83% of South Africans who would be driving through these roads would be paying 100 rand. And uh, many others would be paying between 100 rand and 450. But only 1% would be paying the total cap. And that cap is a true cap because once you have reached 450, there is no additional payments to be made. The interesting thing is also the exemptions of the public transport. In fact, Taxis and buses and all those public transport uh, providers and operators already know and many of them have uh, registered. Mm. But what will be happening going forward next week, it is uh, the getting ourselves to prepare for the rollout, making sure that we pronounce on the tariff and, and, and actually advertise the, the tariff for public comment. Mm. Mm. And take it from there. Yeah. Uh, when, Minister, when, when can we see this officially being rolled out, e-tolling? By law, the public comment period has to be 30 days. And we believe that within a period of 7 to 14 days, after that 30 days, we will be implementing. Okay, so next week we're seeing a coming out for public comment. So, in effect, before December, we could have e-tolling. That's the reality. That's the reality, yes. Okay. Uh, even though uh, we talk about public comment, and, 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 and lots of South Africans have commented about the fact that they are completely against e-tolling, and it is already a burden on taxpayers, is there no other alternative? All those alternatives you would remember were considered. In particular, the one that was uh, heralded as one of the most important ones to consider, the fuel levy. Mm. The, ch the challenge with the fuel levy is that we will be nationalizing a program that is supposed to be covering housing. And we, we were conscious of the fact that we don't want people in Kuruman, for example, people in Mbizana, people in Hamashashani, in Limpopo, people in Freiburg in Northwest to be paying for roads in and Gauteng. But we also co are conscious of the fact that those people will be visiting Gauteng. And when they are visiting Gauteng, they will be paying as people who would be using the freeway. Yeah. And we are saying the reason why also we are talking about the BRTs, which is the Integrated Rapid Bus Transport Network, but also the how trains and uh, as well as the alternative roads, is to provide the people of South Africa with an alternative. If you are not going to use the, to the freeways, you then use the alternative roads. And we are appealing for people really to be uh, supportive of this process and register for the to, to be tagged and also to make it possible that they start paying. Yeah, I mean, you look at, you look at registration and we're talking about uh, approximately 3 million Gauteng um, motorists that are expected to pay for e-tags. And yet, at this point, the figure that we have is that around about 600,000 uh, have registered. Doesn't this show a lot of resistance from your side? How are you going to encourage motorists to actually be law-abiding citizens, which you in your address said that, you know, we are law-abiding citizens, and yet, it doesn't seem that the, that the law is going to be abided when it comes to e-tolling. 
People were waiting for the act and people were waiting for the terrors. So we want to say to the people of South Africa, let us register now because the systems and the infrastructure for tagging is in place. And now that it is law, people were still waiting for the president to sign and assent to the bill. But now it is law. And I'm appealing all of us who are uh, uh, South Africans are law abiding. And we would want to make sure that we've got world-class roads. And for us to have those world-class roads, we, we use the user pay principle. And it is the user pay principle that demands of us to make sure that certain aspects of our roads we pay for, for, for usage. Yeah. You know, in terms of, of some of the valid reasons that have been raised, the fact that uh, South Africa doesn't yet have an affordable and reliable public transport option, why is government insisting on forging ahead with this? I've given an indication, Lee, and that we've got alternatives. And w the reason mainly for the toll uh, roads, I would want to say, was to facilitate decongestion, o got, I'm sorry, decongestion on the road. Yeah. And I'm sure you are aware, since 2009 up until now, there is a marked vast difference in terms of the through movement of vehicles on the Gauteng uh, uh, roads. And really, this is one of those initiatives that many of the provinces would like to consider. And as we speak, many of the uh, provinces have already handed uh, some of their roads over to Sandral. And we need to be able to make sure that those roads that have been handed over are built are man maintained and operated well and that is why i'm saying that let us really be considerate this was the first phase of 201 kilometers and we want to roll it out and we would want to make sure really that is there's less congestion people want to reach their destinations easier and 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 uh, faster and that can only happen if there's no congestion i have an example to make when I arrived in Pretoria in 2009, it once took me on a Monday morning. I had to leave 4 o'clock from Pretoria for a meeting in Lutuli House at 9. But by 9, I was still not at Lutuli. But yeah. now, if I leave at 8 o'clock, by 9, I'm at, at Lutuli. So I just want to say that it is important that people understand that we want to make life easy, the better life that Madiba spoke about. All right. Some questions being asked by viewers. Please ask the minister, who will be benefiting from e-tolling? This is from Tumza. Um, I think you said we're going to be benefiting. Who else is benefiting, minister? We are all benefiting, in particular those who are working and living in Gauteng. Yeah. All right. Minister, let's leave it there for this morning. Thank you so much for talking to us and, uh, and good luck with Thank Transport you, Month. Uh, October is Transport Month here in South Africa. We welcome your comments. We'd love to hear from you. You heard what the minister has to say, uh, her vision for transport going forward, uh, the rectifying of lots of roads, air transport, you name it. Here in South Africa, it's an integral part of any economy. And uh, e-tolling, I think, the top of everybody's list of, uh, of, uh, of conversations. So you heard it here on Morning Live before December, e-tolling will be implemented.